Hey, uh, Greg, what's in front of the, the sign? Son of a... Hey, we are back out at Driftless, and I've got Kate here, and I'm going to do a different format this time. I'm going to do best shot doubles. We've played this course, I've played this course at least four times. Kate, this is his home course. I got the space race range with me. Berg-like. Just played in that last week. That was fun. And then I got another meme disc. I found this one in hole. Uh, yeah, hole uh, nine. Show the underside without your number being shown. Uh, it's that disc that has the molding that sticks out for holding it. Yeah. It's the most understable disc. So we'll have to see how you throw this one in tailwind. Okay, it does fly really well for our beginners. I'm gonna throw a few. Kate already threw a few. You'll catch us out over at hole one, which is right up here. All right, we got U disc up here, and we're going to track that too, whether it's between me or Cade. But what we're doing is teams, best shot doubles. Well, I'm up there, but I'm on the left. Yep, you're up there. And if you look at the OB, I don't know if that counts in this. Sea pad, house, building, that's all OB up there. You, have to get, you put the pressure on me to get inbounds. I sure did. Alright. I decided to go with my glow bag today. And nothing but my glow bag. Because I need to get used to this and I'll, that's what I'll be using. So. Well, we have a second shot at the basket. We're in bounce. That's right. That works. Or left. Or right at the basket. I think you parked, so I don't even think I can ace run it or try to throw that in if I want to. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, I tried going between the tree. Yeah, Cade's got me. Putt. I get the putt first. There we go. Why did it adjust the brightness again? So the T-pad's here, and it's a blind shot to where the basket is, down by the flagpole. So I set up the camera, off to the side. You may not be able to hear us too much because we have the microphone on top of the camera instead of the microphone on ourselves. So. Enjoy the sounds of nature as we throw. Oh, look at that skip. That was cool. Okay. okay. Cade went forehand and actually blocked. I'll go backhand. So Kate is inbounds. Nice forehand. That was downhill. 275. If you count this white line as out of bounds, I mean. Alright, I'm parked. You can uh, try to make it now. Try and go for it, right? Oh, yeah. Kate actually nearly got me here, but glitch under the sign. He's got it. T pad damage. Standing water. Basket. Go for it. He's choosing Hawkeye. Go 
Don't roll in the water. Oh. Roll under the bridge. You might be closer, but it might be obstructed. Yeah. So, according to the sign, he's OB. He's on the other side by the T-pad for the next hole. Oh. All right, so this is the Pecatonica. This river has claimed more discs on this hole than I care to imagine. We're not playing the normal layout. This tree is normally Mando left. We're gonna go Mando right so that we can throw out into this field and not lose discs today. Fall over. All right, two approaches. Let's see who's closer. This is still part of the I don't like this scenario because we're throwing at the river again, about like a hundred and twenty five feet away. Kate doesn't have to throw, I don't want him throwing anything in the river. And whenever I am the only one to approach, then Kate will be the first one to putt. Alright. So I can flip it, right? Flip it, go for it, yeah. Flip plays. Oh. Okay. Well, that's tough to film because the tee pad, there's really nothing behind there that I can put the camera at. So we gotta mow that back if that wants to be a thing. And the basket is behind the big cool tree over here. So, backhand, forehand, what can get you there? Okay. I'm a little closer. Crip block the Gorgon. Alright, nice cut back. Okay, within circle one, Weezard. You might be closer, Weezard. Weezard. Six. The T sign should change at some point because there's no fence, so now this whole ball field is inbounds except for the actual dirt. What about this pole here? Mando left? I think that's what Ben wanted to play too, anyways. Mando left. Yeah. You don't want to be thrown towards the ball field anyway. All right, go for it. I'm out in the safe part. My shank was better than his shank. Oh well. Let's see if we can drain this one. I need a birdie. Can't keep getting these pars. I was messing around in the backyard too with my long range putting and I figured like I'd try the full-on power grip yeah. for the longer putts and I was actually able to make them 
but I was, it was coming out hot and fast. So if this goes far, it's going to go far. And then for my shorter range putts, I do the fan grip. So have your fingers spread out more on the bottom. But if this thing goes far, it's going to go far. Well, yep, we're going to have to use yours. All right, all good. I'm going to hold Seven's tee pad is a little ways up. We're going to use this shot put and discus pad here. It's about 50 feet back. That'll be just fine. Heck yeah. I'll do forehand as well. I'm in the long stuff. I might want cage throw because that's going to be cut off. Alright, we'll take Cades. He's out here in the field. Jesus Christ. Early release. I'm gonna go, look for that go straight towards it. That happens. How many times do you guys early release? Stinking tree! I was going right for the basket. All right, everyone says you can trust a buzz. Yes, you can trust a buzz. Can you hear the frogs? Mm -hmm. right there. Not you. Of course you can hear the frogs. Can the audience hear the frogs? Jeez. Okay, nope, take it, leave it. As long as your foot is... Within behind a, the desk, a, and within a paper size, a side of paper behind the disc, but you, your other foot can't be in front of the disc then. Our first bogey. Through the woods. I think I'm still safe. Something. <laughs> and it kicked forward. Good try, good try. <gasps> All right, Cade's got me this time. Come on, kid, you gotta make one. I know, I gotta make one at least. Weird. So there's normal hole nine here, and the river is pretty high. Next few holes are along the river. I'm not playing those, I'm not losing discs. I know, I love this basket location too. We're gonna skip hole 10 as well because, well, it's again, along the river. That's a big boy. That branches. Cage. Alright, we'll pick up at hole 11 here. The river's a lot farther away. So, alright, Mr. Sergeant. Okay. I think Cade wins this one. Not sure where I'm going with that one, but okay. Alright, keep it there, keep it there, keep it there. Oh, come 
Oh, we'll get one. We'll get one here soon. Let's go over there. Because Reaver. I mean, the river's still in Alright, I lied. I skipped ahead to hole 14 because, well, the shorts were also along the river. And then the next hole is just long, long par 3. Well, that one's gone. I saw what it hit. Yeah, I'll be able to find it. This has been a just crap day for me, so I'll continue on with. That was under the basket! Hey, uh, Greg, what's in front of the... The sign! Son of a... No one on camera can see it. Well, you saw it fly. It's under the basket. Sorry. Camera faux pas. But the zone really is parked. It hit right under the basket. You good? Yeah. How far can you go? There's embossing on some discs that I love putting my fingers in the embossing. Yeah. Anyone else like that? Comment below. I know Discraft has those. Up to the left, case to the right. Now Valkyrie's in the open, but Cade's even closer. Yep, you're so close, I don't even have to try for mine, so go ahead and pick that up. That's good enough for me. Boom. Hole 16, last time I was here, had no pond. It's back. We got a lot of rain. We're going to go from the short tee, though. That's going for a swim. Oh, you're going for a dip, I'm huh? I'm going for a swim, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, I got my vessies on. Am I going in for that one? I can get it. It's fine. Let's cross. As we're standing here, it just started to rain. Testing up this camera to see how good it is. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, that went splash. That is in the middle splash. You that's, could that's second use try, these. But... Retriever. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You guys know the feeling. You found another disc ready? Yeah. Sweet. Keep going. Now you're much further, much further right. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chuck as well. Center cut. With a Valkyrie. Let's see if this kid can find his disc. The rain is picking up. Right up next to you. All right. Oh. Come on. I know. Hopefully I'm the last one that can do it. Look, you try forehand here and go wham. Yeah, no kidding. Hole 18. Started to sprinkle again.
around the bush. Go for it if you got it. All right. Hey. Good way up. All right. Now I gotta go for it. <laughs> this is how it's done, Robbie, right? Robbie C. This is the Robbie C thing. He hangs his towels. Oh, behind him? Behind him, yeah. But, no, you do not wipe your disc from under your legs. Cade was using my Zuka today. He graciously towed my Zuka the other week for Elver Tag, so... How did you uh, like using the Zuka today? Oh, I mean, it's easier than having to carry a backpack on your back. Less weight on your shoulders? Yep, exactly. All right, I think you're closer. Let's see if I can finally sink in a putt. Hey! Hell yeah. Woo! All right. And with that, I want to thank you for watching. It's been Cats and Cade. Thanks for having me. Playing doubles here at Driftless Valley Disc Golf Course. We'll catch you in the next one.